Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climate. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. Well, it's just so fun. So Clay, take a look at this. We're headed up to Park City, and if you ever wanted to have a little getaway up in Park City, but you want to spend a lot of money, this is a condo up there, right in a great location um, for $159,000. Yeah, Jay, when you first told me that, I thought, no way, that's not right. That's Because you just don't find things in Park City at that price point. That's right, and what's even better than that, this one is all set up in the rental pool, so it's legal. You can rent this out on uh, VRBO, Airbnb, and it's also part of the convention center, so it's part of the rental pool. If you want to rent it out, you can rent it out legally and make money. So this is, because it's at such a low price point, you can own this, rent it out, and you have a unit that's paying for itself through the rental, and then you go use it whenever you want to. I, and I love that, and the thing that's crazy is at that price point, and knowing what these things rent for in Park City, the cash flow on this thing would be significant. Yeah. So it really is perfect. And more and more people are renting that way all the time. Yeah. It's a great way to own real estate, to be able to have that second home that you normally wouldn't be able to afford. And so what's there's some cool things about this one. Uh, it's part of the convention center up there, Park City. It's the same place that they have um, Sundance, the film festivals, right there out of this thing. So it rents for a ton of money. It's got a brand new pool, brand new hot tub. It's also connected to, of course, the convention center. And it has a coffee shop next to it and a spa. And so you could fly into town, literally land, get a, a, an Uber to your little condo. And then it's if you want to go skiing, it, they even have ski rentals right at the place and so you can <laughs> and the bus picks you up right out front and so if somebody wants to come in from out of town they fly in they literally they don't need anything they can stay here and everything's provided for them that's so unique and i mean really what you're describing it is a perfect location the transportation the facilities you really couldn't ask for more at this price point in this location yeah and of course it's snowing up there today and as you can see and <laughs> and it's uh, what's cool is park city is now year round so this is a this is a real good one so tony for this one we're going to hang heading down to kaysville and, I, and this is this is a great property this is just what the market needs right nice yeah, because these these houses, these are almost timeless. That Rambler mm -hmm. with the full basement, with the nice backyard that uh, right across the street from a, a church right there. Just if I had 10 of these properties, I'd sell all of them. That's great. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Take a look at this. So as you step inside, uh -huh. as the people moved into this house, so it was originally built in uh, 1994. And as you can see, this floor plan is still done today because you walk in, you got that great room, right? Oh yeah, that's a great open concept. Yeah, and they've done a ton of upgrades, as you can see in this house, that mm -hmm. beautiful kitchen they put in here. Mm -hmm. And that nice, oh, you always hear this term, they talk about uh, open concept, right? Mm -hmm. This was the epitome of the open concept. Yeah. This was the floor plan and it's still sticks today. Wow. They just do modifications to it and move things around a little bit. But this was, take a look at the kitchen. Yeah. And, the, and so this was built in 1994. Yeah, but they did a full remodel, as you can see, in 2016. Oh, wow. Lots of nice features in here. Yeah, I like that backsplash. Yeah, really nice, right? Mm -hmm. In our market, you know, we need these houses that because the cost of new construction is so high, right? I mean, if you have to go and rebuild this house, you're going to get a house that has the main floor done. Mm -hmm. The basement's not going to be done. You're not going to have a yard. You're not yeah. going to have the fence in. This has got it all done. Right, yeah. That's what a lot of people don't take in consideration is uh, when you build new construction, the cost after you're done. That's right. Landscaping, fencing, window covers. Yeah. It's expensive. All that stuff. Right. And this is where somebody's come in and the house was built, of course, in 94, but then they came in and did a new remodel to it. Mm -hmm. So it's like new construction, yeah. but it's got all the fence. It's got a beautiful backyard, great location. Kaysville's growing like crazy right now. As you can see, they even redid uh, the, the bath and everything. Yeah. It yeah. looks really nice and updated. Super clean, right? Yeah, absolutely. And this is, that's why I say, listen, if I had five or 10 of these houses, we'd sell all of them because... 
they're even priced economically. They're only at $138 a square foot. Yeah. And there's really not a lot on, this, on the market right now in Kaysville. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It's super high demand right now. It's just outside of Salt Lake, but it's still really close. You're probably about, what, 15, 20 minutes from Salt Lake. But, you know, if you're staying in the Salt Lake market, the market, it costs a lot more to be right in Salt Lake. Sure. They go right around the corner, right up to Kaysville, mm -hmm. and you get a really good value. Yeah. What, what are some of the great things uh, Kaysville has to offer? Kaysville is a nice bedroom community. One of the best things about it, of course, is it's really just kind of the quiet, kind of it used to be a big farm area, and now they've kind of built it into subdivision, but they still have kind of bigger lots out there. Kind of a sleeper nice. town, but up and coming uh, That's right. area. That's yeah. great. Yeah, in a really nice area, but it's one of the best parts is so close to Salt Lake, mm -hmm. because we're not making any more uh, land close to Salt Lake. They're not? No, they're not. We're oh, all wow. out of land. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know That's what I mean? So, we, so that <laughs> creates all the inflation, because we've got to right. get... Every Everybody wants to be where the financial hubs are. They want to be in Salt Lake. For sure. And then it just spills out from there. And you can yeah. always tell because they're building high rise. They're building way up in the eye. Yep. And, and this is one of those little pockets that you get a really good value on a nice property. Yeah. And, you know, that's what you're looking at. Down in the basement, you can see they've got another. On this one, we're looking at a total of 3,300 square feet, just a little over that, with Great five yard. bedrooms, three and one half baths. It's got 0.27. Look at the backyard. Yeah. Nice and staged. It's just beautiful, backyard. right? Oh, yeah. I love that retaining wall, and it's got lots of grass. Great area to play for the kids. Yeah, perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Mature trees in the backyards, yeah. fully fenced. And you can see, I, man, if, like I said, if we had more of these houses, we'd sell them all because the market's just in that situation. Yeah. That backyard is uh, great for barbecuing in the summertime. Yeah. yeah. Somebody's going to love this house. Most people aren't insurance experts. Shoot, most of the time they don't know what coverage they have or even who their agent is. It's okay, it's not your job to be an insurance nerd. It's mine, I even have the glasses and sweater vest. As your personal insurance nerd, my staff of nerds and I are excited and eager to get nerdy about your insurance. Your coverage is important and so is the price. We understand that. Let us get nerdy about the details. If you're looking for the cheapest price from some online company regardless of coverage, you've got the wrong nerd. Now, if you're looking for a personal relationship with a local insurance nerd who cares about covering you and your family and that your cat's name's Fluffy, I'm your nerd. Give us a call or shoot us an email. If we don't answer right away, it's because we're deep in the nerdiness with another client. Don't worry, we'll get right back to you. We always do. Kai Tanner, Farm Bureau Insurance. everyone. Everyone needs a home and at Real Estate Essentials anyone who buys or sells their home with the J. Deere Real Estate team will receive a free adoption for the pet of their choice. Real Estate Essentials has teamed up with the Humane Society of Utah to bring you forever homes for everyone. Love your new home and love your new rescue pet with the J. Deere Real Estate team. So Clay, for this one, we're headed out to Fish Lake, and of course, you you spent a lot of time out there, oh, right? Oh, I was just camping there last weekend. I'm going to be there again this weekend. This is my summer paradise. Yeah. You know, I'm always sad when I, cause I have an RV that I park up there. Whenever I pull it off at the end of summer, I feel like the sense of loss because this place has become such a part of me. I've been going there for over 20 years, and I go there every weekend pretty much in August uh, throughout the summer, and I really enjoy this. This yeah. area speaks to me right here. And I had never been to Fish Lake, and wow. uh, I know. Well, it's a, yeah. I mean, a lot of people have it. Yeah. I mean, even uh, my, one of my friends has never been there. It's one of those hidden gems for sure, and it was a beautiful place. And now take a look at this this cabin that we have out here with that hundred year roof that they have on here. This is a spectacular property. But as you can see, let's let's talk a little. Let's not talk about the cabin. Let's talk about the area and things you love about. Well, you know, the, you, have, you see it right here. You have the vast landscapes. You have great combinations of aspens, pines. Um, some junipers, you have the sagebrush out there, and then just amazing selection of wildlife that's out there. And um, everywhere you turn, you see something. Of course, you know, Fish Lake yeah. in and of itself is an amazing attraction right there. And so I had, we've had this house on the show for a little while now, but I've never actually been out there before. And I was really surprised at the, uh, the size of it. It was quite a bit larger than what I thought. And yeah. they did the finishes that they did on the inside with all the wood. And you want to talk about, um, 
joy or pride and ownership. These people are so detailed on the way they love and care for this property. Everything is in perfect shape and perfectly dialed in. You know, a lot of time in cabin stuff, they'll tend to get worn down. People aren't there to care for them and stuff mm -hmm. like this. Not the case on this one. Everything is perfect and perfectly squared away and well, well taken care of. Well, as we look at this, I picture myself walking through this with a flannel shirt, my leather house slippers on from L.L. Bean, and you know, it's just, yeah. I, I, I can picture myself. You walk this, around this, porch and no, you get to look yeah. at all the different views and all the different mountain ranges. Because there's like three different mountain ranges that you can see from the porch. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. And so this is a special property, some real pride and ownership. The gentleman that owns the property really loves fishing. And so this is, they were going to either build in Park City or they're going to build here. And of course they, you know, they've been here forever. They, just they made the right call, Jay. Yeah. No, they did. <laughs> they did. Because if you want to be away from it and really enjoy the outdoors, as you can tell, because you yes. do this all the time, yes. this, is, this is your spot. It is. Yeah. Yep. 100%. And so they took me around to, you know, this, this one thing to have the house, you know, but mm -hmm. you, you're buying into the community because oh, we went yeah. in and stayed the night in Richfield and got to meet all the local people and everybody knows everybody down there which is so nice and they were so excited to hear that they were going to be featuring uh, the house on the show i mean they were so excited like they love fish lake they yeah. live for this they've grown up with this whole thing they know all about it they were telling me all the stories about how it used to be a volcano yeah. and it exploded and it's not a reservoir it's no. actually a lake very and deep it's a one. really deep lake yeah yeah and, you know, and the thing is you have richfield you have salina you have kasharam you have these great communities that are just all right around that and they do they love this area and it's it's, it's special to them yeah you know? yeah well it's a very special place yeah and this is a special little property i mean you're, you're looking at uh you're almost 3,000 square feet with three bedrooms, two full, one half bath. It's on 27 and a half acres. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so there's nobody going to build near you on this thing because right. you own it. And it's got the opportunity. It's got another lot. If you wanted to subdivide the lot and build another house on here for family or oh, whatever, you could great. do that. Yeah. And it's got trailer hookups. So it's got two places. It's all set up. So you can have two trailers on the property with all their hookups on it. And so if you wanted a family get together or whatever. Perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Build another house on it and there aren't any other houses really around it, you're sitting on basically on the top of the mountain looking over everything. Well, the great thing too that you don't see and hear about this, if you're an ATV enthusiast, which I am, uh -huh. the trail system that goes through all over this mountain and things, and oh, I love this, Jay. This yeah. Is, yeah, you going for a little ride yeah. on, the, on the lake? That is, you, if you're gonna go to Fish Lake, you gotta go on the lake, get right? Get the whole experience, yeah. yeah. Beautiful water to have some amazing fish in there. You can see, you know, you go in, you see, and you go into the little shop and you see, uh, you know, all the fish that people have caught, and it's just amazing. These huge trout and these yeah. uh, tiger musky that are in there, and yeah. And some great mounts of those at the Fish Lake Lodge, too, yeah. you know? Yeah. That, that lodge was really, that was built in the late 1800s. Amazing. It's about the size of a football field. It is. It's all made out of lumber. Yep. Beautiful property. I love it. So Marcus, this is really cool innovation, the way you can move these containers all around. Tell me about this. Yeah, they're really nice. It's an innovative technology called a ZPU. It lifts our container, which is lighter than our competitors' containers, so it's really maneuverable. We can go into tight corners. We can go into small spaces within inches of where you want it. So if you're a commercial location and you want to put it uh, to the side or you want to put it off to the uh, to the back of your, your facility, then it's, it's really easy to do. If you're a homeowner, then you don't have to put it right in the middle of the, the driveway that blocks all of your cars. We can put it to the side on the RV pad, or we can put it potentially in the side of your yard or in the backyard. It's really nice. That's great. So it's, it's really light, and so your competitors, are, their containers are a lot heavier, so they can't even use this, right? Yeah, they can't use this kind of technology. So what's really nice about this is that you can fill it up, and if you decide that you want us to store it at our warehouse, then we can still come and pick it up, put it on our flatbed, bring it back, and it goes into our warehouse where you can store it. Or, because it's completely weatherproof and it's still a steel structure, it's so strong and secure, you can just leave it on your yard for months and months and months at times if you want to clean out your house or clean out your garage yeah. and then move things back and forth. And so lock it up at night so it's all secure. Yeah, it's got a lock on it. Yeah. And then you can also add an additional padlock to it so that it is, is very secure. Yeah. Let's head down to the Red Rocks of St. George and see what the Ames team is up to. Hey, Jay. You know, spring has been full force down here in sunny St. George. 
We're in the mid 80s and this is a fabulous home we're looking at this week. Custom designed, over the top finishes, immaculate landscaping, a killer backyard as well. This house is close to everything in St. George, only minutes from shopping, entertainment, but the house, this is an entertainment and getaway house like no other. What yeah. do you think, Jay? No, this is this is spectacular. You can tell somebody really loved this home and really thought about it a lot as they put it together. They really, they knocked it, knocked it out of the park. Indeed, it is custom design, has super tall ceilings, custom wood finishes, high-end flooring, plantation shutters, and a professional chef kitchen. Lots of light, I love it, and they've really played with the colors and brought them all together so well. It has both a private pool in the backyard, which is very private with all the landscaping, um, really fun backyard with the pool, the jacuzzi, the water feature, and then as well, you can go right through their gate into the HOA common area, where there's a pool, tennis courts, basketball, and all the fun things you can do on a soccer field. And th this house, Jay, you talk about views in St. George, this one is 10 plus, killer Pine Valley views. Yeah, that's amazing. What's so nice about it is that it backs to the HOA common space. So all, uh, and so it just makes it feels like it goes forever. Right, this house was designed to entertain family and friends. It has a nice little upstairs nook bonus area for entertaining with TV and so forth. The kitchen, the kitchen you could throw with the party of parties because it has huge area and all walks right out onto the deck. And look at that kitchen and the finishes. What, what cook would not be happy in there prepping for a nice family dinner or for a huge guest dinner? They, uh, all their appliances are top of the line you can see and they got two islands and all that light oh spectacular yep and as well you have a couple of cars well bring them here because this place has room for an rv slash boat in the garage yeah just i'm so impressed with this house they put it all together this is the home enthusiast dream home right here if you love your home you love this home Room for family, room for the friends. You know, downstairs is over 4,000 square feet. The house is 7,800 square feet. So there's room to bring everybody for sure. Wow. So Jay, this is waiting somebody to come get this jewel. Yeah, taking a look at the backyard. So is this the, the pool that's actually part of the house then? Yes, this is their private pool attached to the backyard. Yeah, they've really put it all in. There's the, the tennis court little basketball court and there you can see that that property just stands up out of there just a spectacular property so john if somebody wanted more information about this property how would they reach you jay they can give us a call at 435-674-6011 or they can hit us on our email address at ames team at sgremax.com So you're buying a new house, and what if something breaks in the first year? Ask your agent to get an Elevate home warranty. We cover major systems like your appliances, your plumbing, your electrical, your hot water heater, your furnace, your garage door opener, and we also do Reiki. So next time you buy a house, just don't buy any old home warranty, buy an Elevate home warranty. We were looking for a new home. Some were too big, some were too small, some were just wrong. Then, wow, we were in our dream home. Then the hard part started, all this paperwork. Luckily, we had Steve, a loan officer from Castle & Cook Mortgage on our side. Even though he's done this a thousand times, he knew we hadn't. He took care of everything, and fast, so we could focus on the things that really matter, like enjoying our new home. Castle & Cook Mortgage, the key to your castle. Your home is one of your most valuable assets, so for the latest in Utah's real estate trends and market conditions, be sure to tune into Real Estate Essentials every Sunday afternoon at 4.30. Looking around the state, let's head over to Park City and see what's trending with the David Lawson team. Jay. 
another amazing home. Uh, this is in the exclusive neighborhood of Pine Ridge at the top of, top of Pine Brook. Um, this home is surrounded by large pine trees, nice secluded location. Uh, that driveway, completely heated. Oh, that's so uh, nice. It is, absolutely. As we walk in the door, you're gonna notice the construction on here. Um, pretty amazing. Yeah, they're beautiful. They really, this is a spectacular home. I really like the roof line as we were outside, but you come inside, boy, they, they continue that workmanship on the inside. It is, you're greeted by these large timbers throughout the house and this great room that's amazing. You've got this open kitchen, Thermador appliances, this great island, granite countertops, plenty of space for entertaining. Uh, you're greeted by this fireplace that's double-sided that goes out to the deck, and you have these amazing views from the deck. This house pretty much has it all. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. Love those windows and all those pine trees just looking in at you. Oh man, this is really something. So tell me, uh, what type of square footage are we talking about on this one? How many bedrooms and baths? So this one's just over 6,000 square feet, uh, four bedrooms, five bathrooms. You've got a large office on the main floor. The lower level walkout has a great rec room and a theater and plenty of storage. Yeah, this is, this is a, what we call a standout property. This is exceptional. I really, I'm a big fan beautiful i love it is, absolutely. i love that deck i could just see sitting out there in the spring and listen to all the birds chirping and, and enjoying the you know the snow, the snow uh, going away oh so nice it is in in the this master that we're seeing is an extra large master you've got a fireplace great bathroom uh, with tub shower his and her sinks you've got the large walk-in closet off the master is a nice separate room that you could use as an office or a workout room. And then beyond that, you've got access out to that deck where a hot tub sits. And the owners, after a day of skiing, what do they do? They come home, they walk out onto the deck, and they soak in the hot tub. They are doing it right. So what kind of price tag are we talking about on this home? So this one's listed at $2 million even. And we, like I mentioned, we are right at the top of Pine Ridge, so we're about 20 minutes to the airport, about 15 minutes to downtown Park City, and you're nice and secluded up in the top of Pine Ridge. Yeah, it's beautiful. So second little kitchenette down on the lower level, there's the theater you're talking about. Yes, and, and that's a full kitchen. So when they had family members staying there, uh, they couldn't even, they weren't even bothered in the upstairs. So you basically have a separate living space downstairs if you needed it. And that theater downstairs, the storage, and then as we get out in the deck, you can see the great hot tub, uh, the great views. You can see the grill out there, the double-sided fireplace, and the mountain views in the distance. It, it's, a, it's a beautiful setting. Yeah, what a great view. What a beautiful property. Headed down to the Arches and Canyonlands National Park, let's see what's popular on Moab with Rachel Moody. So headed down to look at some Moab property, got our Moab specialist, Rachel Moody, and this is a special little home, isn't it? Most definitely. We're sitting on top of Bridger Jack Mesa on 20 acres that makes you feel like you're on top of the world. It's a spectacular setting uh, perched right up above the behind the rocks wilderness study area. Oh, it, and it's beautiful as we go inside. I love the colors and all the light. It's just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this one was custom designed so that you could stand in the middle of the home and look in all four directions and absorb the views from all four directions. Yeah, and, you can tell, and what I love about it, it, it's expansive space. It's really open. There really aren't any walls that are closing it in. Right. And it's, um, you know, ha has a lot of indigenous materials that we've finished it off with. We've got the local blue pine, and then it also has earthen plasters, prickly pear cactus extract in the adobe floors. A lot of thought into the finish of this home. Yeah, and so this style of home is kind of like a pier and beam, isn't it? Yeah, it's post and beam. This one's actually still, uh, still beams with straw belt insulation. Um, it has passive solar design with geothermal 
heating and cooling. Yeah, and that that's really expensive to build, but it really has long-term payouts because it's really efficient and it makes for just big expansive space and you don't have to have all these, you know, walls to hold everything, you know, to support it. It's supported from the roof. Definitely high quality construction with this home. Yeah, they did a great job. I love all the rocks and all the different colors and the glass and the way they brought it all together. Definitely a lot of creativity went into the thought of this home. Yeah, somebody somebody definitely loved this house. So how many square feet, how many bedrooms are we talking about? We have three bedrooms and two bathrooms in this home. It's about 2,792 square feet. It has an extra large two-car garage as well as a double carport. And then out on the cliff edge, there's an additional pergola um, that we have out there. And so what's a, is a pergola just for enjoyment of the view? It is. You could also spend the night out there if you wish. Oh, so it's almost like a, like almost like a separate, a separate living area. Yeah. Nice little cabin on the edge of the world. That's great. <laughs> I love these colors and styles, how it's, it's, it's so bright and inviting and lots yeah. of windows. Look at that view outside. Yep. And there you get a great view of the LaSalle mountains. Great. So, uh, so what sort of price range are we talking about on this property? Uh, this home is currently listed at one million three hundred ninety-five thousand, and it is on twenty-one and a half acres. It is two lots that have been put together. Um, certainly, one of the best locations in the Bridger Jack Mesa area. Yeah, I could see you having just a. There's that uh, pergola outside. That's just so cute and endearing. Yeah. Yes, definitely. And and those are those beautiful views. They they really put a lot in us. Somebody definitely loved this home. So if somebody wanted to get more information about this property, how would they reach out to you? Uh, they can reach me on my cell phone. It's 435-260-8245 or my website, which is moabrico.com.